It's time to invest with me with my weekly updated portfolio. I will discuss my dividend totals, what I bought and sold and why, and what stocks I will be buying next week. As a disclaimer, this portfolio is only 10% of my total dividends, and I mostly invest in SPY, SCHD, VYM, and DGRO. This is a high-yield dividend portfolio combined with dividend growth. I am looking to get $1,000 a month in dividends as a goal, and I'm slowly balancing out my portfolio. I would like 50% high yield and 50% dividend growth. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm just an NYU finance student on YouTube sharing my life. While this week was very rocky with several earnings reported and Europe expecting to increase its interest rate for the first time since 2011, the total portfolio is up a bit to $48,724.85. Yield to date, it is negative 17.04%, which is beating the S&P 500 at a yield to date of negative 19.46% return. Total earned dividends are $2,854.28. Let's add dividends to our tracker. So this is super easy. I go to the cell next to July and add total dividends. I got six cents from Ben. IPR, I got 44 cents. Main, I got six cents. Stag, I got $7.22. STWD, I got 20 cents. Store, I got 38 cents. And main again, I got $13.12. Not sure why I got double. Last week I got a total of $21.48, so for July I will type in 164.84. You will notice the graphs adjust to this number as well automatically. I reinvested all of these dividends into ticker symbol MO or Altria and the EPD. So I bought $10 worth of MO and $11 worth of EPD. If you would like to see why I love these 7% yield dividend growers, I will add a link to the description below. Let's go back to the tracker. I only add full shares to my template, but basically once all of the stock information is filled, I would update my number of shares. Last week, I talked about my favorite consumer dividend growth stock, which is Costco. I will leave that video in the link in the description, but you will see it is in yellow because it is on my watch list, but the price is too high for me. I currently have a high exposure in high yield ETFs that I created in November of last year because dividend growth stocks were getting too high in value. In the coming months, you will see less exposure to high yield and more exposure to dividend growers because the stock prices are near my buy zones. Currently, QYLD is 30% exposure and JEPI is 23% exposure. I'm very excited to buy EPD since their dividend is coming up soon. Mo is also in my buy zone at current levels. I'm looking to buy more main or main street capital, especially if housing starts cooling off and the price goes lower. And while Stag is a great company, I'm just going to hold it. Stag has a dividend growth rate of 0.85% for the past five years. To put that into perspective, Maine has a five-year dividend growth rate of 2.9%, which is almost double. I believe even though the price is climbing back up, the almost 7% yield that appears sustainable is a good buy. I did want to speak about IIPR. Last week, there was a default by one of its big renters. While this may seem shocking, FFO is currently 10x, and according to eight analysts, it should grow at an 11.4% kegger over the next four years. So while this default accounted for $2.2 million or less than 1% of total revenue, IIPR looks like a high risk buying opportunity, as long as you have exposure less than 1%. So while I'm not looking for more exposure in this high risk stock, I will continue holding. Total dividends for this year are $4,860.55 currently, and I need $12,000 to get to my goal. I didn't deposit anything into this account this week because I wanted to buy more SCHD in my Weeble account. I will continue to reinvest and deposit into this account this year, but I'm slowly trickling into dividend growers because I believe we still have many red days ahead. While seeing inflation data looks like it's peaking and consumer sentiment is growing, I believe the market is still a bit spooked about a recession. So now that you know what stocks I'm buying and selling, let me know what stocks you bought this week or will be buying next week, or if you're not buying anything, why? If you would like the Excel sheet, use the link in the description below and click the video that shows you exactly how to use it. As always, this is Supergirl Investor here to save the world and make you wealthy. Yes, you. You look like a million bucks. And I hope you really enjoyed this 
and I hope you liked the portfolio update. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to see next as far as stocks I should analyze. And please be happy, healthy, wealthy, successful, and safe. Please have a wonderful week, both financially and healthy. I love each and every one of you. Bye.